folks, this is Mr. Messerman with the Flipped Classroom Podcast, Chemistry of the Earth, number 16. I can classify volcanoes by shape, composition, and violence. Well, we're going to basically run it like this. Granite, diorite, and gabbro, felsic, intermediate, and mafic are the three compositions we're dealing with. Felsic, high in silica, intermediate, and mafic, high in iron. So, we'll start with mafic, magma. If that mafic magma stays underground, it will cool very slowly. And it will grow larger crystals, a coarse grain texture, and we call that gabbro. Now, bring that magma up and erupt it on the surface, where it cools quickly in a matter of minutes, hours, days, whatever. You get basalt, which is fine-grained. When basalt erupts, it can make shield volcanoes, the type of volcano we've been talking about, like the Hawaiian Islands. Now explode or eject that magma into the air, and it will cool instantly and trap bubbles to make scoria, also called cinders, and that will make a cinder cone quite possibly. So that's the mafic side of things. Now we'll go to the intermediate Intermediate magma is middle silica. It's got some iron and a medium amount of silica. When it cools underground, it makes what we call diorite, a coarse grained medium color overall igneous rock. When it erupts on the surface, such as at Mount St. Helens or Pinatubo, you get something like andesite which is fine-grained, cools quickly, and it can pile up with ash and pumice to make a stratovolcano. The explosions of that magma create the pumice and ash, which makes tough. Pyroclastic flows are when the ash flows downhill. Now the felsic, the lightest color, lowest density, highest silica magma. When it cools underground, we get good old granite, coarse grained, light color. When it erupts, what do we get? Rhyolite. We get rhyolite, which is fine grained. When it explodes into the atmosphere, we get pumice and tuff, just like the intermediate. This is the thickest, most viscous magma, which makes this most explosive, and that creates caldera eruptions. So once again, high silica, granite, granitic, felsic, it's very viscous, creates caldera eruptions like Yellowstone. Medium silica is very viscous, not extreme. It can create some uh, stratovolcanoes, and the low silica is runny. And it makes Hawaiian shield-type volcanoes. Thank you for watching.